Hope you're ready for a treble live com in today's episode of Hearts of Gold. We're going to round off our Champions League campaign by taking on Real Madrid at home, inviting the Spaniards to Tynecastle. We're also going to take on Livingston away from home in the league, who are bottom of the table. So hopefully we're going to see a few goals in that one. And massive, massive fixture against Hibs once again. The Edinburgh derby away from home. We're coming up to Christmas and we're currently second in the table, just behind Celtic on goal difference. We're still unbeaten this season in the league. We haven't lost a single game, but unfortunately we've drawn a few too many games for my liking. We've drawn against Aberdeen and Motherwell. In fact, we've drawn against Aberdeen twice and Motherwell. And quite a poor draw against Rangers considering they're having a very bad season down in seventh place, 21 points. I think the Europa League is definitely affecting their league campaign. Kilmarnock still banging in the goals, by the way. Greg Kilty back to the, the top spot. Uh, phenomenal season from them. Livingston have only won one game, so we, we have to be beating them comfortably. Although I do feel like this season, it's been a bit of a struggle. I think the Champions League has had an impact on our season. It's kind of a blessing in disguise that we've been knocked out, I think, because if I want to try and get the Scottish treble when in the league and also the Scottish Cup, we've already won the Betfred Cup, of course, in the last episode, then that will probably be a good thing that we're playing a, a bit less football and not having to go abroad and be tired for the week matches, uh, the weekend matches. Especially as we've got injury problems. My team just seems to be dropping like flies once again for the first time in quite a while, to be fair. But uh, Akpom has now got injured in the last game, meaning we've got Lafty and Akpom out injured. I'm going to have to play Rory Curry up front. I wish I had Boban now. I didn't think I'd need four strikers. But Lafferty's out for seven to, so six, to, six weeks to two months. Akpom is out for three to five weeks. It's a little bit of a disaster coming up to the busy December period. Uh, but that's just the way it is, I'm afraid. It does mean I've actually brought in John McPhee, an 18-year-old regen striker, into the first team as my second option. Can't play as a target man, what's really, but um, he can come off the bench as an advance forward. He's not really been playing because, unfortunately, because the youth teams copy the tactics on Football Manager, he doesn't fit into this tactic. He can't play as a target man. Rory Curry has been playing the under-20s football uh, primarily, so... Yeah, he's not had any really any football this season. But you never know, he might come off the bench and score the win against Real Madrid, which would be glorious. Of course, we've only won one match in the Champions League, which is a surprise in itself. I wasn't expecting to win anything, but that miraculous win against PSG, the one match I didn't show you, typical, isn't it? Slightly annoying. We got thrashed 6-1 by Liverpool in the last Champions League match. That's the first time we've really fallen apart, I guess. The other matches, we have put up a bit of a fight. And since the, the last episode where we lost 6-1 but beat Celtic on penalties in the Betfred Cup final, we beat Partick Thistle 2-0. This should have been about 5 or 6. Akpom had a hat-trick of opportunities, but he only took one of them as usual. Ryan Christie had a really good game. The first goal, in fact, was a wonderful assist from Ryan Christie. I don't know if it will show the entire assist, but he just charged up the pitch. He got 9.0, an assist and, an, and a goal in this game. He really was magnificent. The problem with him is he doesn't do this enough. He's not consistent enough. Ben Reeves has had to come in and play a lot of football and save our bacon a few times. But Ryan Christie, if he could do this every game, look at this run. It's, he was like Kaka and then a wonderful ball through. That was an incredible pass through to Akpom, who actually managed to finish it, fortunately. So that was a really good 2-0 win. It should have been more, though. 1-0 win against Hamilton. Not the prettiest game. Akpom got injured after three minutes, which was a, a real problem. So Curry had to come on. Uh, Christoph Berra got the winner in the 10th minute. Relying on our captain there. So this is the team for this Real Madrid game. Prince is still playing because Zoom is still out injured. Moncur going to have to play. Cochrane's... Fitness really is frustrating. He's just naturally his natural fitness is so low, and he just he can't play two games in a row, especially at the moment with European football. So he played at the weekend against Hamilton, and now he's not fit enough for this Real Madrid game, which is a real shame. But yeah, not playing in Europe is definitely going to suit Harry Cochrane. If we can get a miraculous win against Real Madrid, that would be really nice because you haven't seen me do anything in the Champions League. That Real Madrid team, they've still got Ronaldo at the age of 34. And still deadly. Still deadly. 19 on finishing. You know, it's his 
pretty impossible to stop that. The plane Majoral up front here, we can't see anything. Don't know what he's all about. Gareth Bale on the right, Isco and Cruz in the middle with Taliso playing behind. The defence as well is good. Navas in goal. Oh, oh Udegaard's in the team. He's still only 20. Just shows how young he is in real life. I don't know why people are writing him off because he's he's so young. And it's two, December 2019 now. This is 18 months in the future from real life. And he's still only 20 years old. Uh, to be fair, he is about to turn 21, but still, he's so young. We owe Real Madrid after what happened last time. I mean, that's not really going to work, I don't think. But they are motivated at least. I've got the defensive tactic on, by the way. So hopefully that gives us some chance. It's crucial for Real Madrid this match because PSG, Real Madrid and Liverpool level on points, I think, going into this. We'll have to see who can qualify for the next round. I'm not bothered, really, but it does mean Real Madrid will want or have to get a win today, really, to confirm their place in the next round. But half an hour in, there's literally been no highlights. This is like the PSG game that I won, in fact. This is a carbon copy. Just really solid. Nothing happening. PSG did have a, a couple of chances, but... From what I, I can tell, because I didn't actually see it, remember, I wandered off. But I don't think there were many chances. And we miraculously managed to get a winner. But two shots to their five. Possession's pretty much 50-50. Boring game. That suits me down to the ground. Let's passionately say I'm happy with your performance. Keep it up, guys. I don't think there's any need to change it. Spearing's on a yellow, which is a little bit of a worry. But we've got... Bielik to come on if need be. Liverpool are beating PSG, I think. So they're currently going through top of the group as it stands. Wow. We've survived 60 minutes against Real Madrid. But they've got a corner. If they score from a corner, it's over the bar. Remember, they scored three goals from set pieces against me in the, in the first game. That's the first key highlight of the game on 60 minutes. That is ridiculous. I'm going to bring off Spearing for Bielik who is on a yellow. Mank was on a yellow, he's tired. Unfortunately, Liam Smith is uh, injured. But we do have Ashley Young, so he could play there. And we'll play him as a regular wing back. Can we hold on to it? Maybe on defend, in fact. Like, can, we might be able to hold on to this. I'm tempted to bring McPhee on for like the last 10 minutes and just pump it up and hope, hope he can run on to the end of it. But, wow. This is incredible at the moment. Free kick to Real Madrid. This is where they're dangerous. And Udegaard has come onto the pitch. Back to Cruz. Here's Ronaldo. Tackled by Ryan Christie. Nothing stupid, guys. We don't need to be expressive. Just... Uh-oh. <sighs> We've cleared it up the pitch. Curry can't get on the end of it. And Real Madrid come again, unfortunately. Tony Cruz out wide to Cristiano Ronaldo. But Ashley Young... Against his former teammate, of course, at Manchester United. That smashed up the pitch. I think Ashley Young was at Man United when Ronaldo was there, wasn't he? Udegaard hits it just over the bar. They've only had one clear-cut chance and one half chance in this game. What do I do for the last few minutes? I'm going to bring on Ben Reeves. He's like a super sub for us. I'm not going to bring on McPhee. <laughs> not going to risk him against Real Madrid. Let's not exploit the flank anymore. Let's just... Well, carry on as we are. Can we hold on for a point against Real Madrid? And in turn, possibly knock them out of the Champions League if PSG can get an equaliser, maybe. This is unbelievable. This is this is truly unbelievable. I think this hopefully proves that I did actually legitimately beat PSG, for those of you that maybe have a little bit of doubt about me. We, <laughs> how is this happening? Please don't be a late winner from like Sergio Ramos or someone. 30 seconds to go. That was a foul. Oh, it was as well. Oh, I think he's getting sent off as well. Maybe the Barcelona scarf has inspired me here. <laughs> Taliso sent off with 10 seconds to go. It's not going to make any difference, but it just... I think they're going to scrape through just because PSG have lost against Liverpool here, but Real Madrid really lucky to get through to the next round. And we did absolutely nothing, I know. But to get a draw against Real Madrid, the world-class talent that they have, little old hearts who've... I was playing Rory Curry up front against Real Madrid, for goodness sake. No disrespect to Rory Curry, but he's our third-choice striker. He's not that good. And we've somehow got a nil-nil draw. I'm a tactical genius. Simple. <laughs> that was truly phenomenal. 
What a result against Real Madrid. I know we've finished bottom of their group, but to beat PSG and get a draw against Real Madrid, that is stunning. Really stunning. Liverpool go through top of the group as a result. Real Madrid scrape through one point ahead of PSG, who were top of the group. I think they won their first three games and they fell apart. They lost against us, of course. And then Real Madrid and then, Le and then Liverpool to go out. It's time to take on bottom place Livingston then. We've won all five matches against them during this series. I've got to go with the attacking tactic, haven't I? Can't go defensive against Livingston. Hopefully Rory Curry can grab a goal as well. He hasn't scored for ages for Hearts. He's not really played, to be fair. Uh, but it would be nice if he can get a goal. Uh, Liam Smith is back. So I... I'm going to put him on the bench, I think. In fact, what I'm going to do is... We're going to play Ashley Young at left back instead of instead of Brown today. Let's give Ashley Young a start. Uh, Akpom and Lafferty still injured. Of course, Zoom still not back, which is frustrating. But the team should be more than good enough to beat Lowly Livingston. They've gone for five in the middle. They're trying to crowd that midfield area, as you can see. Their top goal scorer is uh, Botti Biabi. <laughs> what a name. Fantastic name, I love it. Signed him for £74,000. He scored eight goals this season, so it's not too bad for a team bottom of the table. Assertive, we should be winning this fairly comfortably. I need to put some pressure on them for this because, you know, they, they have to be winning this. We do tend to struggle, though. <laughs> well, I tend to struggle against bottom of the table teams on Football Manager generally. It's just, it's just the way it is. Let's get on with this then. Let's uh, push forward from the start and get the win obviously this tactic is relatively solid it's not a tactic that's going to win me game 7-0 christie crosses the in early chance possibly rory curry on the edge of the box lines one up but he plays it out wide to a manqua who hits it posted in lovely strike from danny a manqua wow one nil up after four minutes i wasn't expecting that i thought it's going to be a right old struggle until like the 87th minute but this is a lovely lovely strike from Amankwa. Curry picking it up on the end, edge of the box. I was worried he was going to have a shot there, but he plays it out wide. Amankwa. Boom. Off the post. Great goal. Second highlight of the game after eight minutes. Already. Here's, here's Rory Curry. Oh, I can't find George Moncur though. Oh, I'm playing. I was going to play Cochrane today instead of Moncur. That's a mistake. It's not a mistake, but in fact, it's probably good. Harry can have an even bigger rest ready for the game against Hibs. I might bring him on, on at some point in today's match, though. Here's Amankwa. What a run, by the way. Head uh, punched away. Oh, on Kerr! What a goal! Well, it's just as well I kept him in because that is a beautiful goal on the on the volley of his left foot. What a goal. We've seen two fantastic... Which is the best one there? I think the technique from Monko, but I, mean, I, I like both goals, really. Amankwa's was a wonderful strike. But look at this on the volley, boom! <laughs> That's what you want to see. You want to see some goals. Ashley Young lines up a free kick and that's not good enough. It's an easy save for the goalkeeper. We're playing really, really well at the moment. I'm going to sh shout some praise at the players. I'll probably have to do the don't get complacent at halftime team talk. Here's Christie coming forwards. Ugh, can't quite burst into the box and Livingston now playing out from the back. Lumped up. Suter easily heads that into the path of George Moncur. Prince. Great ball to Christie. Christie, Curry at the back post, can't quite get on the end of it. And he's been tackled and that's cleared up the pitch. But Lynch easily has this covered. With those three centre-backs against only one striker, we're, we're going to pick up those long balls easily. And Moncur goes for another long-range shot. It's just wide. We've not even created a clear-cut chance or half-chance today. But we're 2-0 up thanks to two wonderful goals. We have been the better team though, clearly. Here's Christoph Berra. All the way back to McLaughlin. I suppose Livingston are playing quite defensively, so we're having to have shots from long range. We're not able to knock it into the box for Rory Curry to create a clear-cut chance. But it doesn't really matter when we can score great goals. And Christie goes for one just over the bar. That is why we're having long shots, because they're, they're defending deep. They've got lots of men in midfield. They're preventing us from passing it around in the last third, I suppose. So we might not see any more goals today as a result of their defensive tactics, but they're going to have to come forwards to try and get back into this game, surely. But we've left the man open. What will we do in there? McLaughlin easily saves it, though. And we, we kind of get a bit lucky there. Playing it out from the back, though. 24 minutes in. Lots of highlights today. Now that I've gone to the attacking tactic, George Moncur charges forwards. It's into the path of Rory Curry, who finds Ryan Christie just about. Not a great pass. Uh, but here's Amankwa. Amankwa. Rory Curry! Back post! He gets a goal! 
That is very pleasing. I'm really happy for him that he's managed to get a goal. Really good assist from Mamenko as well. You can't deal with those crosses. It's just a, a cross that is incredibly hard to defend against. On his weaker left foot, he cut inside. And just look, the angle on that. It's really hard to defend against that sort of ball. And Curry at the back post. I think it is anyway. I'm not really... I don't know how to defend. So perhaps that is an easily defensible ball. But I feel like it's too far away from the keeper. The defender's backtracking and if they get something on it they might knock it into their own goal so it's quite difficult to deal with deal with I think uh, but we're 3-0 up and this is good preparation for the Hibs game but remember form goes out the window in Edinburgh derbies it also the quality of players go out the window it's just well we threw away a two goal lead last time didn't we and we easily have the better team but the passion from Hibs got them back into that uh, but hopefully we can get a a good win away from home. It'd be nice to beat them at their own place. Here's Ashley Young into the path of Jay Spearing, George Moncur, Christie, Rory Curry again. He gets his second with 4 0 up. This is a demolition of Livingston. And surely that's the first clear cut chance created to the game. But it's not showing, actually. Let's watch this again. So it's lovely football. We've just carved them open here. George Moncur involved again, but that's a really good back heel through ball from. Christie, he's having a good game. And Curry finds the back of the net. Livingston looking for a, a goal to get, well, consolation goal even at this stage if they can get it. That wasn't a chance for, for Curry. It's not gone down as a clear cut chance or a half chance, but he was like three yards out when he knocked it in. It's really strange. Here's Rory Curry again into Prince. Can we make it five? <laughs> what was I saying? This tactic doesn't win us games comfortably like 7 0, but it quite feasibly could here against bottom of the table Livingston and we've still got four minutes till half time but Livingston now on the attack their top goal scorer good effort tipped over the ball that is the first clear cut chance of the game and that was not an easy chance no way it was on the angle that was a difficult effort and somehow that's a clear cut chance but Rory Curry's second goal isn't a clear cut chance here's a Manqua on the counter attack. look at him go he's fired it wide though probably should have waited there for this chap who was it probably Curry to, to catch up or Christie, maybe. But 4-0 at half-time. This is one of the best wins you've seen, I think. This is this is to be expected, though. This is what we should be doing against bottom of the table. I'll say don't get complacent. We, we should be winning anyway, but I don't want them to just put the, take their foot on the gas for the second half. I want them to push on. I'm actually going to bring Cochrane on just to keep him fresh. I, I should have played him today, but I'm glad I didn't. Monko's got a beauty, but he's done his job and he's going to come off. And we'll leave it at that for now. We, we've got to leave Rory Curry on to see if he can get a hat-trick. I kind of want to bring, Mac, bring McPhee on. But it would feel a bit harsh taking Curry off when he's on a hat-trick. Predictably, the second half is boring. Nothing's happening. Cochrane's looking complacent. <laughs> Brought you on. Do something for me. Half an hour to go. And they've got back... Well, they're not back in this. They've got a goal back. And that's us just going to sleep there at the back post. In fact, it's because I don't have a play on the back post for corners. That's just the way I, I, I want an extra man in the box. And to be fair, I haven't really conceded a corner like that until now. Here we go then, looking to get a fifth. Half an hour to go. Harry Cochrane into the path of Ryan Christie to Prince. Prince, nice ball into to Rory Curry. Back to Prince. Prince, lovely ball out way to a Manqua. Can he find Curry? It's crossed in. Curry! Oh, he had a glorious opportunity for a hatchery. That is his first clear-cut chance of the game. Our first clear-cut chance of the game. He missed it with the head. With his head. Two more subs to make. I'm going to throw on Ben Reeves for Ryan Christie. If Curry hasn't scored by the 80th minute, I'm going to bring on John McPhee for his debut. Free kick. Ben Reeves lines one's up. And it, it's... What the hell was that? It's a Prince goal, but it's, it's hilarious. <laughs> It's the worst free kick goal ever. Ben Reeves hits it. It hits the back of... Who was it? Curry, I think. But it's gone down as a Ben Reeves assist anyway. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Poor old Livingston. I'm going to bring on McPhee now with three seconds off 80 minutes. And he's going to come on as a, an advance forward. If he can get a goal, that'd be amazing. We haven't had a regen score for us yet. In fact, this might be the first regen to appear for us and oh Cochrane I think that was heading it against the bar 
Boring second half. We've had uh, two set-piece goals, one for Livingston, one for us. We get a very good win in the end. Uh, currently, we are above Celtic. Passionately saying, pleased with the result and the performance. Second half, you know, boring. Why is McPhee looking complacent? That's just so unrealistic. He's a 18-year-old making his debut. He's not going to look complacent, is he? That's just stupid. But yes, yeah, Celtic uh, must have lost their last game. Unless... Ah, yeah, they lost against Kilmarnock, who have been a blinding season, of course. We both have two games in hand over most of the... Well, one or two games in hand over most of the teams, as you can see there. Celtic have lost again. They've lost 1-0 against Hamilton. This is a massive opportunity. If we can beat Hibs, we're six points ahead of Celtic. At the start of today's episode, we were behind Celtic. This is a massive opportunity. I think George Moncur will feel a bit unfortunate not to play in this match, but I've gone with Harry Cochrane. He knows Hearts. He knows Edinburgh. He knows this derby better than George Moncur, so I'm going with him. Sticking with the rest of the team as it is, I'm, I'm playing Ashley Young at left-back once again instead of Lee Brown. Jay Spearing has kind of cemented that defensive midfield position in the last few matches, so I'm stick, sticking with him there. I will play the away tactic for the simple reason Hibs are a much better team than uh, Livingston, and it is a derby. So, yeah, we're playing at Easter Road, and I just want to be a bit more solid against Hibs because defensively we have been poor against them over the years. We do concede some shoddy goals and some very good goals as well. They've scored some good strikes actually. Anyway, this is it. Let's get on with this. Let's hope Rory Curry can fire us to, to glory against Hibs. Hibs have got rid of that classic Christmas tree formation that they seem to like. They're going with a 4-4-2. Chad Evans and Murray both have six goals this season, so we have to watch out for those two strikers. They've obviously got a good partnership going there. McGinn is still at Hibs. John McGinn, who's been tipped to sign for other teams, but he's not left Hibs. He's he stayed loyal to them, or perhaps no one's been interested in them. Rothwell was their top performer. He looks like a decent player. But we should be better. I know we've got injuries, but we've still got a better team than them, I think. Defensively, we're very solid. Amankwa is a menace. Cochrane's a wonderful midfielder. Christie, on his day, can be very good. And Rory Curry scored two goals in the last game. So, yeah, we're on, we're on a bit of a run. We drew against Real Madrid. What a performance. Let's give the fans a performance they are expecting of us here. Amankwa's looking stressed for some reason. Uh, which Oh, I pressed hand over to assistant to try and deal with... Uh, Amankwa, but that, yeah, that wasn't right. Hopefully he can still put in a good performance for us anyway. Uh, let's close down their strikers and their wingers, and I'm going to get on McGinn as well. Tackle him hard. Let's get on with this then. Let's beat Hibs at their own place. That would be lovely. Here's Rothwell, the danger man for them. Their best player this season. Uh, but hopefully this won't be an actual highlight. You know, start of the match, it often just dies away. Occasionally there is a highlight though, and here they come. This might actually be an opportunity for Hibs. It's headed away, but they're still on the ball. 30 seconds in, this looks dangerous and not great for us. Not good news. Here's Rothwell. Get in there, lads. Win it back. Come on, don't concede a goal after 30 seconds. Ashley Young does well though. Oh, Rory Curry's got injured. Now what is wrong with our strikers? What is happening? I'm going to leave him on. But we might have to play McPhee up front or someone else entirely. We could, we could play Ryan Christie up front, I suppose, or Ben Reeves. But this is a disaster. And Hibs, Hibs have been the better team so far. Maybe I'll go to the attacking tactic because this just clearly isn't working at the moment. Let's go to the Jam Tarts tactic and go for it a bit more. We've won a corner, which Cochrane plays to the edge of the box. For Rory Curry, who finds Prince out wide to Amankwa, back to Curry, Curry, Amankwa, Amankwa drives in. It's an own goal. We were really panicking then, weren't we, by just passing it around on the edge of the box. That's our short pass and keeping hold of possession, working wonders. It just completely bamboozled them. And Amankwa got the assist. And uh, it was nice play. Look at this. Amankwa heads it down. Rory Curry back to Amankwa, drives in. He just knocked it into that danger zone. And Rothwell knocks it, I think, onto his own man, but it. Uh, Russell, sorry, hits it onto Rothwell and it goes in. And this time Amankwa doesn't get the assist. I think because it came off two Hibs players. But Hibs with a corner themselves now. That's headed away, knocked away by Curry. But here they come again. Hanlon into Russell. Russell crosses it in. Evans over the bar from like three yards out. They've had a clear-cut chance and three half chances. We've been pretty much non-existent in this game. Not playing particularly well. 
I might, I might go to the defensive one actually. Just try and hold on for a one nil win because I know how poor we are against Hibs. When we attack, we just can see goals late on against Hibs. So perhaps if we just go defensive now and try and hold on for this result. We've only had three shots. It's been poor. I'm not happy with the performance. Let's fire them up. I'm, I'm going. To, I think I'm going to have to bring Curry off. Potential groin injury. We're going to bring on young Ben Mc, uh, John McPhee. Adva play him as an advanced forward and. We're going to switch to the defensive tactic and just desperately try and hold on to this result. It's been a poor performance from us. Complete contrast to that Livingston game. What is that first touch from Spearing? For goodness sake. From kickoff. Terrible. Let's just shout some encouragement at them. And Mink was looking very nervous, as is Prince. Half an hour to go. We concede late goals against Hibs nearly all the time, so I'm definitely not comfortable. That is a that was a foul. Did you see that late challenge from that Hibs player? That's a disgrace. How did the ref not see that? Get rid of it, guys. If they score from this. Oh, no. Offside, offside, offside is fine. I'm pretty sure that was a late challenge on Christie. Disgraceful. Are we going to hang on here? This is just a horrible game. Like I said, form's out the window. Actual player quality is out the window for these Edinburgh derbies. I'm, I still can't quite believe we haven't lost a game against Hibs because nearly every single time we play them, it's a poor performance. McPhee's not enjoying his uh, time against Hibs, I must say. What do I do? I'm going to bring on Liam Smith, actually, at right wing back. and turn off that. I'm still going to re retain possession and waste time, of course. Uh, Ashley Young is dead. I'm going to just make that one sub for now. Can we hang on? Drawn way too many games against Hibernian over the years. Here we go, Ashley Young. Please, get a second goal and just kill this game off. Spearing into Cochrane. Through to, to Prince. Prince, back to Harry Cochrane. Into the path of Christie, who's tackled. And it's, oh no. 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 Oh. Why can't we beat them? Oh. And that is nearly all, that is, that is their goals counter-attacks against us when we're just sloppy what is Christie doing what is my defense doing it happens all the time we can't beat them it's really annoying Ashley Young is just dead on his feet I'm bringing Ryan Christie off for that Ben Reeves is going to come on for the last few minutes I'm actually just going to pump it well direct football anyway Early crosses, we're going to hit them low into McPhee, hopefully. And uh, I just, uh, it was inevitable, wasn't it? It was just so inevitable. We've been absolutely dreadful in this game. Lynch has now picked up a knock. What is wrong with the injuries all of a sudden? It's going to finish one more. Not another draw. We had the chance to go six points clear of Celtic. We've Oh, thrown that away. We're, we're still four points clear, which is more than good enough, hopefully. But oh, I just can't beat them. They've got to be. They've got to my head. The oh, aggressive, not good enough. Prince has lost his confidence, but I don't care. You guys, you need to be better than that. How long is Curry out injured for then? Lynch is out for two weeks. Uh, well, seven days if I send him to the doctor. Curry's out for one to two days. That's okay. And Manko wants an improved contract, which is fair enough. I will give him an, give him an and uh, blah, blah, blah. I will give him an improved contract. Next up, then, I'm probably going to. Well, I think we're going to have to do this. I know it's. it's or I'm only going to play one game behind the scenes, but I have to show Celtic and Rangers back to back, don't I? My past meetings against him. It's so annoying. We've never lost against them, which is, which I'm pleased about. We've only beaten them three times in nine games. The last three matches, we've drawn against them. The last two, they've come from behind, of course. We have beaten them 3-0 once. That is the only convincing win we've had against Hibs. Thank you for watching today's episode of Hearts of Gold. It started off positively. We had a really good draw against Real Madrid and a fantastic win against Livingston. Unfortunately, we end on a bit of a sour note, but it is what it is. Join me for episode 36 of Hearts of Gold, where we're going to take on Celtic and Rangers. 
See you very soon.